Today's tips to draw a mailbag question comes to us from Italy. Robert, I am having trouble with the finish chipping when removing the tape from the fretboard after spraying a finish. Can you offer any advice, Roberto, in Italy? Well, Roberto, thank you very much for your question. And what a bummer. You spend all that time spraying a finish, leveling it, and buffing it to a high gloss, only to have it chip when you remove the tape from the fretboard. There are a couple things you can do. Let me show you. So here's a beautiful Koa guitar that has just been leveled and buffed out to a high gloss, got a lot of flame and curl in there, it looks really beautiful. And I'm gluing the bridge on using the LMI bridge clamping system for a steel string guitar. And I thought, well, shoot, why don't I just go ahead and get ahead here and take this fretboard or the tape off the fretboard here. Here's what I do. Remember when you beveled the sides of the frets? If you just take your beveling file and come in and run that along the edge there and re-bevel those frets, what you're doing is you're filing through the lacquer or whatever finish you're using there on the edge of the frets. And so that's allowing you to come in and peel your tape off. To get where the wood is, if you just take a hard sanding block and a piece of sandpaper and come in and just sand at an angle like this, you'll find that you're sanding through the lacquer right on the edge of the fretboard where it meets the edge of the fretboard there. And that allows your tape to come off a lot quicker. Now up here you want to be careful, protect the top obviously, and down here you don't want to hit the peg head. Around the end of the fretboard here, just come in and sand at a slight angle and just sand through your finish. So when it actually comes time to remove the tape, come in with a little X-Acto blade, go up under your tape, and then just move it along there, slicing through the finish. You can do the same thing running along the side here. Just come in and slice your finish in case you didn't sand or file through any of it. And then pull your tape towards the middle of the fretboard. And you just got to be patient and work slowly. But with a little bit of patience, you can get it done. So down here on the nut end of the equation, you can't get in there and sand too well. So I just come in with my X-Acto blade and just kind of slice through it as I peel the tape out of the nut slot there. Now when it comes time to tape your fretboard, before you even go to the spray booth, in the past, I used to tape like this. And there's still going to be a little residue roll up under the side of the fret because you can't get it right up in there. Here's a little tip that I learned from Jeff Jewett over at Homestead Finishing Products. Come in like this, tape it this way. And then come in Slice it flush, and that gets you a little tighter tape line up against the side of your frets, and nothing can roll up under the side of your, your tape. So Roberto, in life there's no guarantees. However, I think if you followed the advice I've given here, and that you have a lot of patience, I think you'll have better results. Happy building. Mm -hmm.